Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Exodus 26. Moreover, thou shalt make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twine linen, good the best, and blue, purple, and scarlet. Now these are dyes that are hard to get out. I mean, blue and all that colors today. But back then, they were, you know, the dyes came from plants, minerals, with cherubim. The curtains are made with cherubims. So there's nothing wrong with having patterns if you're not going to worship it. The moment you worship, bow down, and take care of it more than God, of cunning work means the best work, shall thou make them. The lay of one curtain shall be eight and twenty cubits. The breadth of one curtain, four cubits. Now remember, there's ten of them. And every one of the curtains shall have one measure. All ten curtains have this one measure here. The five curtains be coupled together, be coupled together one to another. Take five curtains, put them together. And the other five curtains shall be coupled one to another. So now you've got two sets of curtains out of the ten. Now shall make loops of blue. Upon the edge of the one curtain, from the self edge in the coupling, and likewise thou shalt make in the uttermost edge of another curtain, in the coupling of the second. This is all sewing terms. That I don't know. Fifty loops. They're gonna end up being alternated on the seam. Yeah. So that they're gonna be like this, so you can put. And and you've seen curtains or they got the loops where you hang over a bar. Fifty loops thou shalt make in the one curtain. The fifty loops. Now see God, he's precise. If you're going to do something for me, you're going to do it my way. And when you run to the New Testament, what are you going to do? How are you going to please God? Jesus Christ. Well, I'll come to you with something else. It's not what God performs. It's not what God wants. It's God's way. Had they done any of this the wrong way, God would have never accepted it. Uzzah touches that ark and boom, he's dead. David gets upset. Don't do what God told you not to do. Fifty loops thou shalt make in the one curtain. The fifty loops shalt thou make in the edge of the curtain that is in the coupling of the second. That the loops may take hold one of another. So they become one. Thou shalt make fifty tatches of gold, or still in a tabernacle, gold, and couple the curtains together, and the tatches and it shall be one tabernacle. Unity. We started off with ten curtains, now it's one. Thou shalt make curtains of goat's hair, to be covering upon the tabernacle, eleven curtains thou shalt make. Now this is going to go over the curtains we just read about. The beauty gets covered with goat's hair. And the length of one curtain shall be 30 cubits. The breadth of one curtain 4 cubits. And the 11 curtains shall be all of one measure. Make them the same way, the same size. And thou shalt couple 5 curtains by themselves and 6 curtains by themselves. And thou shalt double the sixth curtain in the forefront of the tabernacle. So that sixth curtain in the front. 
gets doubled. And thou shalt make fifty loops on the edge of the one curtain that is outmost in a coupling, and fifty loops in the edge of the curtain which coupleth the second. Just like the first curtain, the, the, the loops. Thou shalt make fifty tatches of brass. Brass in the Bible is judgment. The curtains that we read about verses 1 through 6 are inside the tabernacle. Only the priests and the high priests. We're getting outside the tabernacle. Now we're in brass. Brass is judgment. We're going to start seeing these metals. They're going to start changing for a reason. And once we get to the end of this, I'll show you why. But we got to read all this first. And put the tatches into loops and then couple the tent, the tent, the tabernacle is a tent, together that it may be one. Now, isn't it, isn't it interesting that the one that writes most of the New Testament, the epistles to the churches, was a tent maker? And with him, Aquilus and Priscilla, also tent makers, you find three tent makers in the book of Acts. It's interesting. And the tabernacle was a tent. And a remnant that remaineth. Okay, there's there's extra on this goat hair. Extra material. By size. Of the curtain of the tent, the half curtain that remaineth shall hang over the back side of the tabernacle. That would be the west side. You go through the east The back side would be the west side. The back side of the tabernacle. And a cubic on the on the one side, and a cubic on the other side that remaineth in the length of the curtains of the tent, it shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle on this side and on that side to cover it. So the goat tear overlaps. And I shall make a covering for the tent of ram skin. Now we've got curtains, fine linen. We've got goat's hair. Above the goat's hair is ram skins. Dyed red. And a covering above the badger skins. Over that is the badger skins. Well, why? dye red the rams if it's being covered well god knows the maker of the tabernacle knows you may not know the israelites that later on will look at this thing who have been born and grew up and look at the thing i don't know but god knows and when you look at this tabernacle let's look at the badger skin let's look at jesus christ and let's look at the christian when God sees man, he sees the badger skin. Imagine what, imagine what people who walked up to this thing, what, what, what is that thing? What is that animal? It's a badger. Whoopie do. Who cares? And we don't even know what's under that badger skin. What's in there? Well, there's a red ram skin. Whoopie do. What's under that? Goat's hair. What we do? Nice, fine linen. And as for the Christian on the outside, we're badger skin. That's all we are. We're no beauty. Proverbs 31 says beauty is vain. But if we're saved, you know what's inside of us? Gold. We know what's inside? Fine, twine linen. The bread. The lamp. The oil. The prayer. The mercy seat. We are seated in heavenly places inside of us. What man cannot see. When I preach the gospel, when I try to witness the people, you know what they see? They see badger skin. Who do you think you are? They don't see God. They don't see the Holy Spirit indwelling in me. But there it is in that tabernacle. Who is Jesus Christ? You know what they saw when Jesus Christ walked this earth? They saw badger skin. They saw a man. He's just like us. He's a Jew. Short. Maybe he had a long nose. I don't know. But what was inside Jesus Christ? God. And that's what you see in this tabernacle. 
And thou shalt make boards for the tabernacle of shittim wood standing up. Now, it's in the frame of these curtains are going to be boards. Just like a house. Ten cubits shall be the length of one board, and a cubit and a half shall be the breadth of one board. And these boards will be standing up. Ten cubits high. How big was this room? Ten cubits high of a board. Two tenions shall be there in one board, and set in order one against another. Thus shall thou make for all the boards of the tabernacle. So they're joined together by these tendons. And thou shalt make the boards for the tabernacle, 20 boards on the south side, eastward. And this will be approximately 45 feet when you break the cubit down to our measurements. And then even still, you can't get, because there are so many different measurements of English for the cubit. But approximately 45 feet. And thou shalt make forty sockets of silver. Uh oh, now we're in silver. Silver's redemption. We are outside. We are touching the ground now. Thou shalt t sockets under, under one board for his two tenons. Two sockets under another board for his two tenons. And this wood would represent humanity of Jesus Christ. Men are likened to trees in the Bible. Jesus took a blind man. He says, what do you see? I see men as trees walking. Trees is what, was what got our great, great, great grandparents in trouble. It was Jesus Christ that died on the tree. Curses is him that hangeth on the tree, the law says. Verse 20. And for the second side of the tabernacle, the north side, there shall be 20 boards, just as the same as the south side. Now, you, the, the entrance to the tabernacle is east, and it will be east to west as you're going from the, from the opening to the most holy place. And there are 40 sockets of silver. Notice 40, testing, trial of silver. Two sockets under one board and two sockets on the other board. And for the sides of the tabernacle westward, this will not have a gate. This will not have a veil. This is the back. Westward, thou shalt make six boards, which is approximately 15 and a half foot. So this is 45 foot by, let's say, 16 foot. And two boards shalt thou make for the corners of the tabernacle of the two sides. So here you've got... A corner. East comes to west. Uh, north comes to west. Here's a corner. Over that corner, you've got two boards that go over that corner. It doubles that corner. Double protects it. And I shall couple together beneath, that they shall be coupled together above the head of the, the head of it with one ring. Thou shall, uh, excuse me. Thus shall it be for the boat. They shall be for the two corners. And they shall be eight boards, the corners. And the sockets of silver, 16 sockets, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under the other board. And thou shalt make bars of shittim wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the side of the tabernacle for the two sides westward. Now these boards are joined together. It's going to be the top, middle, and bottom. There's bars that shoot through the rings. They're not nailed. They're not screwed. There are, there are rings like the, the furniture. And there are bars that go through those rings holding the thing together. And the middle bar, this is right in the middle between the top and the bottom. In the midst of the board shall reach from end to end. So that middle bar is one piece. You don't break it off into sections. And thou shalt overlay the boards with gold. And make their rings of gold for places for the bars. 
and thou shalt overlay the bars with gold. So it's still in the tabernacle. It's still considered the holy place of Jesus Christ being the deity of God. God overwhelmed of the wood. Yet he's 100% wood. He's 100% God. He's 100% man. He's 100% God. And thou shalt rear up, that means put up, the tabernacle according to the fashion thereof, which was showed thee in the mount, the blueprints. And I shall make a, okay, now here's the veil. This is going to be the inner veil. This is the veil that Jesus will rent when he dies. And no one will see this veil but the priest. Only one person will go through this veil once a year, the high priest. Now, what Bible character do you know for sure was seeing this veil? I can never remember his name, John the Baptist's father. Zacharias. Because there he is offering incense for him and the people praying. Thou shalt make a veil of blue, heavenly, purple, royalty, scarlet, blood. Almost like Joseph's coat of many colors, wouldn't you think? And fine twine linen of cunning work. With cherubim shall it be made. So it's decorated. And once this thing is set up, no ordinary Jew of the 11 tribes would ever see this. And thou shalt hang it upon four pillars of shittim wood, overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold upon the four sockets of silver. So, in that gateway, that door, there's four pillars. And that veil hangs upon those four pillars. And when you put it into the ground, it's silver redemption. The dirt, the sand. But those bars are gold. And thou shalt hang up the veil under the tatches. Thou mayest bring in thither, within the veil, the Ark of the Testimony. Go through. And the veil should divide you between the holy place and the most holy place. This is the veil again that's inside. This is the veil that rent from top to bottom when Jesus died. And only the priests would have known when they walked in there. Except for the word got out. And I bet you I wonder if they try to fix this thing real quick. <laughs> Trying to do it man's way. And not God's way. God's way was rent. And thou shalt set the table without the veil. Not in the most holy place. The holy place. And thou shalt put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy place. There are two places. There's the most holy. This would be west of this veil. The holy place east of this veil. And the only thing that's in the most holy place is the ark and the mercy seat. And thou shalt set the table without the veil and the candlestick over against the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. So it even tells you where to put that candlestick. In a room that you come in from the east on the south is the candlestick. And thou shalt put the table on the north side. So candlestick on the south. Opposite of that is the table. Now this is a veil. That would go into the room. The children of Israel would see. As they're standing outside. Now shall make a hanging for the door of the tent. Of blue and purple and scarlet. Fine twine linen. Wrought. Now this one's with needlework. This is even finer. Handmade. And I, sh I don't think they had plug-in instruments. I don't think they had sewing machines. You know, you step your foot. Blah, 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 blah. So needlework means they work with their fingers. And thou shalt make for the hangings five pillars of shittim wood. And overlay them with gold. Okay, here's the pillars that's going to hold this veil. 
and they're hooks. It's on hooks. I, I, I don't want to be cheap, but it's like a shower curtain. You can slide it back and forth. Shall be of gold, and thou shalt cast five sockets of brass judgment that go in the ground for them. So these brass sockets are little sockets you put in the ground and you insert the pillars that hold up the veils, that hold up the poles, and everything that they have. 